Thank you, choir. What a great, great reminder of what this is all about. So grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God, our Father, and the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. On guard. When uh, I saw the title for our message today, I automatically thought of the days of my childhood when I was 20-ish. And I had a young boy in the house and an older young man in the house, and we had these Nerf swords. They were like foam. And always, always, always playing, I guard! But that's not what the message is today. Well, kind of it is. If we go from our text, our text today is actually from the book of Mark, the 13th chapter, and it says, Be on guard. Keep watch. Be ready. This comes from, uh, if we remember last week's gospel lesson, where the disciples and Jesus are walking along up to the Mount of Olives, and they see, look at this beautiful temple. And Jesus tells them, that monument, that building will fall. It will fall. It will crumble. And of course, the disciples are astonished. What do you mean? Well, Jesus is foretelling a few things. First of all, in a few 40, 30 some years, that temple will fall physically. But more importantly, in a bigger picture, the temple will fall when he returns. When the Son of Man returns, the temple will fall. All things will be destroyed. There will be destruction. And he will bring us all home. But he says, be ready. Be on guard. When I was working security, and uh, when I was working at Concordia, we would be on guard. We were always looking out. We were ready, being prepared. Maybe you're on guard when you think about a trip that you're looking forward to. Maybe you don't sleep very well. You're always thinking about it. You're preparing. You're being ready for that event. I know that when, uh, as as a parent, you have um, relatives who are on guard for when you have a child. They're waiting with bated breath for that phone call, for that child to come. That's what it's like. But this is on a much bigger scale. Because when Christ returns, he's going to call all those who have gone before us in the faith. Those who have passed away, who are in the faith. He'll rise them up first. And then we will join them for the great renewal, the great coming of the Lord. See, that all comes because we are at the end of the church season. This is the last Sunday of the year. Next year we can just sing, Happy New Year! After we give thanks on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. When you bring your canned goods as an offering, as a thanks, as we do Thanksgiving Eve on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. And then you're here on Saturday to help us prepare and celebrate Jesus' birthday as we decorate the sanctuary for the old people and the young people get to decorate cookies and make ornaments downstairs. But I digress. Because we have to be ready. We have to be on guard. And you see, Jesus tells us these things and, and Paul tells, us, um, tells Timothy uh, in his second letter to him He tells him, I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by by his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, But having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves 
teachers to suit their own passions. Paul is writing to Timothy, his, uh, his student, if you will. And Timothy we would call a pastor or a disciple, just like you and me. We are disciples of Jesus. And Paul's words that ring out to Timothy come to us just as much. Be ready to preach the good news on account when you are called upon to teach others about Jesus. Use God's word to reprove them, to rebuke them, to make corrections. But be ready. Be ready when the time comes to share your faith. Be ready that when Christ comes, you can say, my Lord and my Savior. And he says, my child, walk him home. Be on guard. We don't know when it's going to happen. Hopefully it happens after my message today. But we don't, or, bef- or maybe not. But how awesome would that be if it like, would come right now and we're in church? Cool, huh? But, no, but here's the deal. We, have to, we don't know when it's going to happen. But Jesus says, be on guard. Be ready. As the choir just sang, there was all kinds of stuff in there that I can't remember. But as they were singing those words, it's like, wow, that all is true. But the words that ring true is, I am forever who I am. Above you, beneath you, within you, I am forever who I am. He is the God of all creation. He is the God of all people. He is the God who loves you so much. He knows your name. He knows the number of hair on your head. This God who created all things knows itsy bitsy tiny you. That is a great message to share. That is a great message to tell all people. And as his disciples, as we go and be his witness throughout the world, that is what we get to do. But as we know, this world is not always the best thing out there. So, I have to paraphrase on this next one. Because it's only like 10 verses. But we put on the armor of God from the book of Ephesians. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. That we may be able to stand up against the stuff that's going on outside in this world. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the evil day, having done all to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened the belt of truth, God's word. Put on the breastplate of righteousness and the shoes for your feet that you may have the readiness to go and share the gospel with others. The shield of faith to protect you from all of those arrows that are coming at you. I'm not even sure where I'm in the slide. Oh, good. Hey, all right. We're still there. And the sword of the Spirit. Be on guard. The Holy Spirit will guide us and is the word of God. Carrying at all times. The spirit with all prayer and supplication. To that end. Keep alert 
with all perseverance, making supplications for all the saints. Begin with prayer. But be alert. Be ready. Be ready that on the time that is called for you to defend your faith, you may say, I am a child of God. I know my Lord and my Lord knows me. He knows my name. And here's what I have to share with you. That Jesus came as a man. He is the Son of God. He died on the cross for my sins and for your sins. And He is your Savior. I have eternal life with Him. You can too. We don't know when Christ is returning. But when He does, I truly want you to be ready. Be ready to speak up. Be ready to proclaim your faith. Because we don't know the time or the day, but Jesus is coming. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Amen.